So we reopened on the 24th of July um, after being closed for nearly six months and we've been open now for a total of nearly a month. Mm -hmm. so we've been 20th of August, we've been open for more than three weeks now. And uh, yeah, business has been unbelievably busy, thank God. I think everyone was just desperate to get back out and get a bit of normality back into their lives. The main change would be uh, closing at 11 o'clock, so that's due to the government guidelines. So we're still opening up at 8 o'clock for breakfast. Uh, we're very busy, and then we have the lunch starting at 12 o'clock until half four, and then half four until quarter to nine, that is the a la carte evening menu. There's no major changes to, to the menu, I suppose, because we were closed for so long, we just wanted to make sure everything was streamlined when we reopened. So we kept most of the same menu, and then we had the same staff, just to make sure we could still offer the same service and same quality food when we, when we reopened. The feedback so far has been excellent, to be honest. Um, so booking now is much more popular. I find the restaurant is usually booked out for the evening. Uh, that's Monday to Sunday every week. So it just allows us to be more organised and we can seat the customer. The dining experience is much more, there's a greater flow to it. So um, yeah, the feedback has been unbelievable and the support has been unbelievable from everybody in the town. Uh, I hope, uh, it, of course it's going to depend on the government guidelines as we go forward, but I suppose it, we're hoping for business just to continue as is at, at the moment. Um, Hopefully maybe we can continue to, hopefully we can expand our uh, opening hours so maybe stay, up late, stay open later. But once again that will depend on the government guidelines. This is Martina Wellen from the Bank Monsignor Square. And just uh, since the COVID we opened on the 29th of June. And um, since then we have been quite busy. The regulations um, to fairness the customers have adhered to them. One thing that I would like actually because we have lost so many tables and chairs that we're looking for decking outside, maybe some tables which is still ongoing and we haven't had access to that. No, the trading hours are still nine to six, Monday to Saturday. Uh, we close on Sunday. We don't take any booking, so it's walk-in service. And we only allow so many people, we don't join people at tables. And for, we have a book for them to sign in for contact tracing with their telephone number and the time that they have been here. Well, the hopes I have is to get tables outside on premises which we've been asking for the last so many years anyway, but now since the COVID and we have lost you know, a number of uh, chairs and tables, that we need to really have business outside also going forward because this is what we won't have to live with this for the next couple of years I think.